If you saw Trump, what do you think it would be like? I would approach him for sure. Um, I don't know if What he, do you think he'd be like? Oh, I know he's I know what he's like. He's a total pussy. And so one of the last times I saw him was when he hired me as part of the finale of the not the celebrity apprentice, but after that he went back to doing like the non celebrity apprentice too. Mm -hmm. And so uh he hired me to roast him for an event that one of the teams was putting on, like a charity event. Right. Even though, as you know, I'm not a classic roaster, but I get how people would think I'm a yeah. roaster. So I was like, great. And the headliner for the event was Liza Minnelli. So I would have done it for free, yeah. but he gave me 50K, which was respectable, great. and flew to New York, went to Bedminster, spent the whole day with him and Liza, which prior to Trump being Trump, I actually thought it was kind of fun because all the times that I knew him and saw him, he just was like a lovable doofus. Right. I don't know that I ever thought he had the wealth of Elon Musk or anything, but he was a fixture for so long yeah. that he kind of played that character. Yeah. And I, I swear to God, I didn't know the racial stuff. I didn't know the sexual assault stuff. I, I didn't know any of that stuff. I just thought, oh, he's like the goofy real estate guy who's rich and has his own black and gold plane. And, you know, I thought The Apprentice was a really good show. I watched it religiously. Uh, the other thing I said about Trump is like, guy was number one on all of television. Yeah. He was yeah. more entertaining than ER. Yeah. And what right. the 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 fucking CSI and like. So what's crazy is I got along great with him. Yeah. Not just well. He kind of he's one of these guys that he likes to try to verbally spar with a comic, even though he's yeah. not. But he'll play like in right. his way he would play along. Yeah. So like when I walked onto set, he did the sign of the cross with his fingers. He's like, oh, here she is, everybody. Let's hope she goes easy on me tonight. Not too much about the hair. I've known Kathy Griffin for a long time. I'm sure she'll be attacking my hair and lots of other crap today, but that's okay. And I was like, what's well, not Did to love? Did they sell that to ISIS? <laughs> it's in the video. <laughs> Great. And so, um, also, he was like driving Liza Minnelli and I around in a golf cart at Bedminster. And I was like, this is fun. Yeah, this is not. This, that's got to be one. Of, that's a very unique experience. Very unique. Also, of course, you know, I like worship wise. I don't just like. I, I didn't. I no one thought you had didn't. any. Right. Yes. Okay. I got we it. all were so very I was, confident. I was already queening out about just being with Liza. And then here's this like character driving the golf cart. He was driving it crazily, which I also thought was harmless and fun. Right. I was also raised by alcoholic parents. But you know, we took pictures together and at the Larry David roast, I sat next to him on the dais for four hours. And I was on The Apprentice another time when my dear, dear Joan Rivers called and said, will you be one of the celebrities that comes and buys a handbag during this challenge? So I spent that evening, and he and Ivanka were like always chatting with Joan because they knew Joan and loved her. Like, yeah. So many run-ins with him that were harmless, and I would see him at NBC Uni events, yep. and he kind of rolled with a joke if I... So I would probably approach him, and he would probably... Do something similar to like, uh oh, yeah, because he'd be protect. I'm sure he'd be in but a protective also environment. Like, ma although he could play just strictly aggrieved, and I would probably, honestly, I'd probably do like one jab, but right. I, I wouldn't try to ever explain to him what the experience was for me because I honestly don't think he can process it. Yeah, so I'd probably try to make like, you know, a zinger, right, and move on. That's that's about it. That's uh, that shows a if it's true, it shows a lot of restraint. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> that's we'll I mean. see. Like, Eventually. That's, that's the plan. Oh, somehow um, I'm going to outlive him. The, what would uh, you do if you ran in? Did you ever have a, someone where you thought, I got a plan what I do when I run into them? Yeah. I'm sitting on a list of insults for someone right. as we speak. Um, but I'm not the picture of health. But any comic, our, I don't know how old you are. How old are you? We don't talk about Okay. That. Any comic of our possible generation... We also can have a joke from the 90s thrown up in our face any minute. And I wouldn't do my 90s material for many reasons. Mm -hmm. That's one of them. But also... Because it would be offensive by today's standards? Of course. But yeah. also we're in this weird era of... Like the evolution of comedy is as if it is not seemed, like, seemed to be understood by anyone. 
And I don't want to be like cancel culture. Somebody was emailing or Twittered me today. And I was like, lady, you don't understand comedy. Yeah. If you think I'm going to cut a Meghan Markle joke. Yeah. Bec- what are you talking? Right. So whatever. Yeah. No, or, you're right. Or by the way, or if you make a Meghan Markle joke, that means you are inherently racist. Because the 90s uh, This was, was misogyny. Okay. She was accusing me of misogyny. The the era and the kind of material that I do, and I admit the 90s and the aughts were a brutal kind of comedy. It was roast on Comedy Central every two seconds. Yeah. And I'm sure you- but Morning radio. Morning radio. Oh, my God. Yes. War crimes. Uh, that's all over. <laughs> that's yeah. all over. But I, always, I try to explain to my younger friends, like, you kind of had to live through it to believe it. Like you were saying about the fucking DDT truck, right? Like yeah. the 90s and the aughts were just, the mandate was go hard. Yeah. Go as hard as you can. Yeah. And weirdly, like your thing was, he deserved to be, went. you're allowed to go hard at the He's president. He's the president. Did you know Mort Saul's story at all? No. So Mort Saul is like one of the top comedians in the yeah, of course. In 1960 like the he's on the cover of time magazine my parents idolized he was their god he was their favorite so he kennedy jfk asked him to write stuff for his campaign like just give me like a joke up front yeah right Mortsall goes i'll do it but just know if you win i'm not gonna stop yeah he wins uh, Mort and the club Mortsall worked out the Hungry Eye in San Francisco. JFK's dad pff, shut it down. Wow! Like closed it. Yeah. And then it's which and then the the weird kind of heroic postscript is the DA from New Orleans who mm-hmm. investigated the Kennedy assassination. Yeah. Mortsall went and volunteered to help solve the wow yeah like it's a weird thing yeah so yeah. but it's like when politics intersect with no but presidents are supposed to be able to take it on the chin yeah i made fun of i will admit obama was the hardest to make fun of not just because i'm a libtard lefty mm-hmm. but i just didn't it was hard he had a good sense of humor yeah he, oh he but had a great w sense of humor. and obviously bill clinton and yeah so i've been around long enough to have made fun of every president yeah. and Never a repercussion. No. And so that I, part well, too, I was I've never... still shocked about. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.